an environmental jewel. A complex, spectacular network of plants and animals, the Great Barrier Reef. If Australians think it's safe, it's time for a reassessment. And coral reefs are in deep trouble elsewhere. Human beings have turned them into underwater deserts. This is a healthy reef. And here's one in Jamaica, where 80% of corals have been destroyed in a decade. Here's a thriving segment of the Great Barrier Reef. And here's what happens when nutrients from human activity get into the water. Algae takes off, completely strangling the coral. This is the United States off the coast of Florida. Global warming causing coral bleaching has destroyed reefs in Tahiti and the Seychelles. Human development has been disastrous for coral over the last decade. According to the Global Coral Reef Monitoring Network, 10% of the world's reefs were lost by 1992. 27% were lost by the year 2000. And it's expected 40% will be gone by 2010. Maybe because of its size or distance from massive development, the Barrier Reef has so far escaped widespread destruction. But the pressure is coming. Sometimes it comes in large and immediate forms. In November 2000, the Malaysian ship Bunga Teratai Satu ran aground onto the Barrier Reef off Cairns. The container ship smashed through pristine coral and was stuck in the marine park for 12 days. It was feared the vessel could become a permanent fixture after many failed attempts to refloat it. The ship was only freed when three coral outcrops were blasted to pry it loose. A huge clean-up followed, including the costly removal of toxic paint from the coral shelf. On a risk analysis, we can look forward to round about one grounding, one accident a year. And hence, again, in terms of our view here, that we mustn't take any more risk than is needed, that we mustn't take gambles. The Barrier Reef sees more major shipping accidents than any other part of the Australian coast. There have been 40 collisions or groundings in the reef area since 1985. In all, oil tankers and large cargo ships make 6,000 trips through the difficult reef waters every year. If you're going to say what single incident could cause the greatest damage to the Great Barrier Reef, it would be a major oil spill. A shipping review conducted after the Satu crash has recommended specialist shipping pilots for the Northern Reef area. Some environmentalists want to ban all ships not directly using a Queensland port from entering the park at all. David Kemp is the Australian Environment Minister. Can you give me one good reason why these tankers should be allowed to move through the marine park if they're not heading for a Queensland port? Well, as I say, the um, Australian shipping is part of world shipping. Uh, and those are significant factors that have to be taken into account as well. The critical thing is that there is a regulatory regime in place uh, which protects the reef uh, against the dangers that may come from shipping practices which simply don't respect the world heritage values of the reef. 